Hi, this is Super Boo 3 Today we are going to be looking to make Eyes of Ender for the Ender Portal and activating the Ender Portal. Now, I have just saved my game just before I was fighting a Enderman. You should always save before you fight an Enderman because they only have a percentage chance of actually dropping an Ender Pearl, which is one of the items we need. Um, if you enchant your sword with looting, you can increase the um, number of pearls they drop which will meet, make this considerably easier. I've already showed you how to enchant on my overkill video. I'll put a link in the video description. Now you can just keep enchanting using uh, save reloads to uh, try and get looting onto your diamond sword. Also um, if you check my Into the Fire video, you can see how you can get blaze rods. Again, if you do that with the looting ability, you'll get more blaze rods. Um, you get two blaze powders per blaze rod, so in total we only need five blaze rods to actually do this. Um, I guess technically you could get four and then go to the building, the castle next to the galleon um, to get a ninth powder. Um, but then you combine ender pearls with blaze powder to make eyes of ender. Okay, anyway, so first up we're going to fight an enderman. There are other ways to get an ender pearl. I'm going to show you that after I just show you an enderman. Okay, so I'm using the diamond sword. Endermen teleport. They sometimes just teleport away and disappear for good, which I think this one has actually done. I know he's not. He's there. And look. I've been lucky here, he actually did drop an uh, ender pearl. Okay, okay, so here I am at a crafting station. Uh, here, you can make blaze powder under the food section, I'm not sure why. And where do we make eyes of ender? Oh, here it is, under tools and weapons. Uh, you combine blaze powder with the ender pearl. So we're going to make two of those there. Okay, so that's how you can craft them. Uh, the Into the Fire video plus the Overkill video links down at underneath the video should help you get looting on your sword to increase your drop rate. Um, just, well, you basically just keep on doing it until you actually get looting. Um, in the video I show you how to get high damage, but you use the same method. Um, and now... We're go I'm going to show you the village where you can trade with a specific character. You always save before you get to the village and before you've interacted with anyone. Okay, I'm going to give you the. I'm going to again put in the video description the location of two villages. Um, there's one just past this castle. I think that's got two clerics, and down to the sa uh, sa more southerly, there's a desert village which has got one cleric. Okay, so this is the coordinates of the village. Um, what we're looking for is the cleric or priest. Um, where is he? There's no. I, I've seen two in this. Oh, there's one. I think they wear like a purple shirt. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Now, what you want to do is I've saved already, but you should save here before you've even spoken to him. Press L2 on him. Aha, and we've got Lucky. He will trade us Eyes of Ender for 9 emeralds. Now, that might seem like a lot of emeralds, but this means that if we look around and talk to the other people in the town, we can actually get a decent number of um, emeralds, possibly, depending on what they're trading. Oh, he wants... Again, um, a, a, you know, after... The priest has you. You've locked the priest down to actually give you eyes of Ender. Just save there, um, and then just start. And then you can reload the saves to get favourable trades from the other village members to try and get as many emeralds as possible. Um, I will show you a. F I will do a farming tutorial at some point in the future. Um, that will show you how to grow crops and get the other items, which might get you um, emeralds and such I mean here look there's a lot of crops um, in these towns that you can then use for trading um, 
So basically, yeah, what you want to do is get that guy to trade with you. Oh, look, yeah, see, he's giving up. He's asking for. He'll give you uh, emerald for coal. And um, back in the original town, there's the gentleman who gives you emeralds for paper, which um, isn't too bad either because you can. Sugar cane grows very fast, and you can make paper out of that. Anyway, so. Um, I can't. I have an. Oh, look, actually, there's a second cleric here as well. There seems to be quite a few in this town. Um, in fact, I think there's three. Um, yeah, so that's how. What those are the. That's how you're going to get eyes of ender. That's the other way to do it through trading. Um, trades will not change unless you repeatedly make the same trade. Now, if you do repeatedly make the same trade, there will be a red cross through the item saying that they no longer accept that trade. Now, if you trade a different item with them. Uh, that will make that trade available again. Now, as there's multiple villages, I will put the coordinates for each one. You can use saves to abuse, um, well, your chances of actually getting Eye of Ender trades and um, try and force people into trading Eyes of Enders with you for emeralds. I do understand that this is still time consuming, but this is actually a ver this is one of the easier methods of doing it. Um, if you're accustomed to fighting in the nether there's always the blaze rods option um, with fighting endermen but like I said if you combine that with looting on your weapon that suddenly becomes a lot easier okay so now I'm gonna skip forward again in time and I'm going we're going to walk to the ender portal with our eyes of ender and we're gonna finally walk through to meet the ender dragon uh, I will stop this video after we've entered, uh, what? Well, sorry, after we've activated the Ender Portal, um, because I believe that's a good time to save, and then we'll have a separate video for fighting the Ender Dragon. Hi, this is Super Boo Three, and we're back to the entrance of my mind towards the Ender Portal. Um, now, I have actually got my nine Eyes of Ender and now we can activate the portal. I'm in peaceful mode again here because like I said this room is dangerous now and also when we first enter the ender portal just place the eyes like this uh, yeah when we first enter the ender portal um, there's some work we gotta do before we can actually defeat the ender dragon now this is what the portal looks like when it is activated it does look pretty cool um, make sure you have a lot of matic building materials on you um, I'm wearing my iron armor I have my di diamond sword um, you can use an iron sword and you can beat him as well um, but it's better to wear stronger stuff some people say you can defeat the dragon on peaceful mode now when the first time I did this, did this and I put the game into peaceful mode trying to fight the ender dragon um, his health wouldn't drop after I'd completed the first stage of the boss fight now I'm not sure if it glitched on me or if it's glitched for other people exactly how that works but you can try and fight the ender dragon on peaceful mode if you wish um, if you can't harm him then play it on easy um, and you get the second uh, I think you can also just get this trophy by jumping these trophies by jumping into the ender portal created by your friend and then if they've already defeated the ender dragon you can actually get it from jumping through the second portal which you find inside the um, inside the end um, anyway uh, well that covers how to activate the ender portal um, I might try and add some notes or some other things to the video about trading and such um, but I think most people understand how the basic concept works um, like I said there's two methods you can go for the trading route or you can go for the fighting route in terms of getting the eyes of ender um, if I find a better 
way of doing it. I'll probably make another video on obtaining Eyes of Ender. Um, but this, again, this video is mainly about activating the port or the methods of how you can find the things. Um, anyway, uh, oh yeah, so coordinates again for this location there. Um, and until next time, where we will defeat the Ender Dragon. Um, so thanks for watching. Bye.